So the first thing we are going to create is our uh, structure, our files for our project. And the way we do this, let me create a, a directory here. Let, let call it a Rust state machine, uh, like R RCM. Oh, I already have one, okay. RCM uh, English, okay. Ne then I go into this directory and then I do, I run a command called cargo. Cargo uh, in Rust is the same as uh, NPM or Yarn for those who are familiar with JavaScript, is the, the, the package uh, manager, like you, you, the dependency manager. So is the command that you, you're going to use a lot when developing in Rust. So you run cargo in it, and it's going to create this structure here. Let me open it for you so you can see what's inside. Let me open here in my um, favorite editor. So you have like the cargo toml is a file that has the, the version of the the library that we are just creating that I call RCM uh, EN and uh, edition 2021. You can leave all these things like as is and it uh, automatically creates this uh, folder, source, and then the source folder uh, has this main.rs file, which will be the file that will automatically be run when you come here in your, let me oh, increase the size here. And if you run cargo run, it will compile and run this, this command here. So basically you just, uh, you just run by doing this, you just run your first Rust program ever. So you can see uh, there is this uh, hello world program. I don't know why I have this. Okay. Can you hear me well? Okay. Uh, I have this hello world. And if I change anything here, hello world, web three dev is cool. And I run it again. It will recompile and then run it again. So if you, if you come to this step, you are in the less than 1% of the population that already had compiled and run a Rust program in their machine. So congratulations if you can do this. Uh, notice that it, there's a target here, a file that are under the debug um, folder. And this file is a binary, actually it's an, ex it's a it's a binary that that you can run in a standalone uh, as a standalone executable file. So if I just run the file, you're gonna see the same result here. And you can like copy this file to like another directory, and you can run it. So it's a completely uh, self uh, self running program. Uh, you don't need to have Rust installed in your machine, but of course it's compiled to, in my case, to my Mac OS. So you can run this one in Mac OS. And if you compile it in Linux, you're going to have it compiled to Linux. And for each operational system that you create this compiled file, you can run it. And if you see, uh, the, the size, the file size, you're going to see that it's pretty it's pretty high. It's pretty big in terms of like, it's something that just prints hello world. Of course you could do this <laughs> print hello world with much less, uh, bytes than 400, uh, 400 and, and 400 K bytes. But, uh, but it's okay because, uh, as you move on and make this file more complicated, you're going to see that uh, you don't need uh, much more. So it's a very small file size for an ex executable file. Uh, it's pretty light 
compared to many other languages that create like uh, you have to cr uh, run the program with all the infrastructure like for example if you need if you have a python program you need all the whole python environment installed in the machine and if you have like other languages uh, that have an interpreter you you need that